Hey guys, this is Creative Freedom, and today we thought we would piggyback on our RV remodel video and bring you into our music studio and give you an RV music studio tour so that we can show you a little bit more detail on what we're working with, how we're liking our RV music studio, and what it's been like for us to go from a normal size studio down to this compact little ditty that we have now. And minimalism has not only helped our daily lives, but it's also been very beneficial to our creative life as well. So we discovered that all of that extra outboard gear and all of that extra stuff was completely unnecessary. We have a constant flow of inspiration because this view behind this monitor changes all the time. Sometimes it's an ocean, sometimes it's a forest, sometimes it's a mountain, sometimes it's a desert, but it really helps the inspiration flow. This is definitely a labor of love. Uh, we're happy how the way it all came out and so far we've made a lot of productions in there. We're gonna give you a tour of every single thing that's in here in just a second. Okay, for the desk, I built this desk out of repurposed wood, chose pine because it's light. So every RV is properly built with weight distribution for safety in mind. If you alter that weight in your remodel, it could be very unsafe. So please be very careful with that. So as you can probably tell, this was also built in the slides. So we were very, very careful with all those things in mind. So when I built the desk, I forgot to put into account that the monitor was curved. So I had to make this hole or area a little bit bigger also to account with the monitor lift which is screwed into the wall of the slide so there would be no interference while this thing goes down and so that it stays snug while we're traveling to maximize space we have our regular desk with our little roll out here underneath it so there are two groups one here and one here. So this is for while we're working, clearly. We also use this desk for editing, which this monitor works great for. We can both plug in on this side, but when we're traveling, you can slide it forward and slide the little grooves into those nooks, and we're good to go. None of this on the desk will move at all while we're traveling. It stays 100% in place. The speakers needed to be raised from the laptop, so we built these speaker stands from scrap wood that was lying around from building this desk. We also repurposed these power switches that were just lying around in our home studio in LA. So we decided to use these for, these for this build, which is perfect. Okay, for the monitors, to keep it intact, we had different solutions we were looking at, but I think the easiest solution that we came up with was just ratchet straps. So the way it's all connected, coming from the top, going all the way at the bottom, through the bottom, and all the way back up and ratcheted back up. And this whole thing has not moved at all in the whole two years that we've been doing this full time. So we use a mic for our vocals on our tracks and I also use it to do voiceover work for LA and other places. We went with a tabletop mic stand. This is super heavy and sturdy on the bottom. So it actually, believe it or not, this we don't have to put this away when we're driving either. It actually does not move, it stays right here. It's an AKG perception mic on a Proline stand. It's not a super top of the line mic, but it's, really fantastic and it does the job and on top of that we're clearly basically already in an ISO booth so that works. Now to the gear, my favorite part. The gear that you see right here is pretty much the culmination of the most used pieces of equipment that we've ever used in the studio whether it's here or in our studios in LA. Okay, first off is probably the most important piece of equipment in the RV, the Universal Audio Apollo Twin. Now, this is basically our audio interface that is equipped with some of the best analog, digital, digital analog conversion built right in the box. And this allows us to track and mix as well as record thanks to the preamps already loaded in the unit itself. This is also an emulation of all the outboard gear we ever had in LA, all in one little box. So everything that we had that was taking all that space in a studio that we obviously can't bring into an RV is all consolidated into one little box. All right, next up is the Mini Lab from Arturia. Now this little controller is so awesome, not only because it fits in this desk drawer, but it's also perfectly versatile for our digital audio workstation where we could control different areas such as automation with all the different knobs, different MIDI notes that we could assign for soloing a track to listening to different mixes. 
we have modified this like crazy and we're really, really happy how this little piece of equipment turned out in this desk drawer. All right, next up is the Machina by Native Instruments. Now, aside it having some really pretty lights, I think the most impressive thing about this is that it does act like a really cool groove box. So when we're trying to look for a groove, an actual rhythm section, this is the piece of equipment that we, that we actually go to. Now, I'm not gonna totally go in depth with this. There's a lot of videos out there on how to use it and the whole thing, but this also acts as a fantastic sampler. There's a lot of really cool things that you could do to mangle some sounds, some beats, filter out some beats, kind of add some textures to it, to some tracks. It's really cool just to plug in, not look at the, uh, at the screen, but just zone in and build a groove based off of this little box over here. So this is excellent. So primarily we are house music DJs and producers. We throw the party Unity in LA. We have a constant source of inspiration all the time. We always wanna make sure that our ideas get translated really easily. So for that, our digital audio workstation of choice is Ableton Live. Now, it's very daunting at first, but this turned out to be the best DAW for us. The sheer amount of versatility not to mention all the little intricacies that we could actually put together in our tracks, we couldn't be any happier to have this system set up in here. There are thousands of videos out there that talk about Ableton Live. Uh, we'll put some links in the description below just to kind of give you a little bit of a primer on what it is. There's a lot of different uh, workstations out there such as Logic, you know, Reason, you name them. There's a whole slew of them. Every one of them is perfect. It's all about creating music. At the end of the day, you're making something that emotes what you're feeling, which is through music. Everything is, anything is good. We could also be using Logic and, and it's just as perfect. There's no perfect digital audio workstation. So whatever you're using is great. Now, as far as the monitors go, again, compact is really, really important. So we opted to go with the KRK Rocket 5s. We're not gonna get anything that's just gonna blow the roof off the RV. The KRK Rocket 5s, believe it or not, are really perfect with the bass response that we have in the RV, especially this being in a slide is perfect. So we decided to go with this one. We've had beautiful mixes coming out of this RV. We're really happy with these. We've been through a lot of headphones over the years. When it came out to studio headphones, we really had to dig deep to find the right pair that would give us the best reference. We opted for the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pros. These things are magical and a lot of studios kind of swear by this. I know there's a lot of other ones out there such as some Sennheisers, some Sonys and stuff, but this one has been amazing. Also, they're pretty snug too. They fit perfect. So we started off with this fold-out chair that quickly got very uncomfortable, so we went to an outdoor store to get something else, and, you know, what's cool is we could also take it outside if we want to, but, yeah, this one's super comfortable, it swivels, and the irony, the irony of it is it's a hunter's chair, so I'm a vegan sitting in a hunter's chair. It's revenge. It's vindication. So maybe for some later videos, we might get in-depth with, with some sessions, we're thinking about doing, you know, getting some of our friends in here, you know, doing some vocal sessions, this and that. But we pretty much use this system uh, as a way to, as an extension of our ideas and to make sure it's always recorded. We are gearheads and we love to share the experience. So hopefully later on in some in later videos, you let us know if ever, if ever we should actually do this. We could probably delve in into some in, into some of our little customizations, little things that we do in our sessions and all these little things. Let us know. Let us know what you think. Thank you so much for watching our video tour of our RV Music Studio. Uh, if you have any questions at all, let us know. We'll be happy to answer them. We hope you're well out there. If you are an artist, never stop. Bye-bye. So every RV is designed with the right. So every RV is designed with the right. To maximize. Is it for the for the the monitor? The strap. Monitor straps. Okay. Ready? It's recording.
the most important piece of gear right now. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Cut it. Okay, next up we have the good. Sorry. Hey guys, this is Creative Freedom, and today we do uh to piggyback on our okay, just let me see what that looks like. You know why we built some of the components for this R for this for the student guys. Pick contact good with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> And give you a tour of our RV music studio. That sounds stupid. Stop. <laughs> minimalism. Minimalism. Minimalism has not only. Minimalism. Is, um, <laughs> liberty. 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 Hi. 